up, Fizzles? How's it going? I've got another battle against Rose from Amber's Asylum. I know I only did just do one with her like six battles ago, but this was the rematch because she shit on me last time. So we're both taking this fucking seriously this time. We're super, super serious. So she tricks my um, Frost Lass and I taunt, so that is a horrible play by me. And it's not going to get any better for a few minutes now. So she shadow balls my Steelix, and I've got no special defense EVs despite most people put them in Steelix. So she gets a special defense drop there, but I'm like, I need my rocks. Whoa, fuck up camera. I need my rocks, and I know I'll live it because it did fuck all the first time. Crit! Special defense drop, then a crit. Motherfucking hacks. So I get my rocks up at least, but I still lost my Steelix for nothing. Which is horse shit, and the torn wears off after like two turns. So, there, Shadow Ball finishes me off. So, I'm not looking good so far, I'm not gonna lie. So, I go into this old girl and I forget what I do. I go for an Ice Beam. I'm not I'm quite sure why I did that, I should have put some spikes up. And I'm pretty sure I can live a Shadow Ball just because my Frostlass is bulky. Max HP, max speed. And oh, hey, 2 HP! So I'll get another Ice Beam off, maybe even a Devon, I can't remember what I do. I don't know why I didn't go for a Devon there, I'm a fucking tard. Oh, I got a crit. He, see, he still lived though, so a Devon still would have been better. But at least that, like, balances out the hacks I got earlier. So, yeah! Probably bring something in a revenge now. Ah, there's my guy. Scarfed Gyarados. No one expects it. <coughs> so yeah, if I just go for a waterfall, finish the old girl off. And so right, she took out two of my pokes with that, and all I did was get rocks up. So in comes the Starmie, I'm going to have to get out of there, but I know the T-Volt's coming. I was a little bit scared of the over prediction and the surf, but I knew the T-Volt's coming, so... I can get an um, earth power off now maybe? I'm not sure, I don't remember. So Seth doesn't do all that much because I'm a tank. And yeah, I just go for an earth power. Which would do less than the surf is doing to me. Which isn't good times. So I don't know what I do now, I'm in a pickle. I stay in apparently. I must just be like sacrificing my clay off for the free switch because that storm is going to cause me some trouble. Oh, I explode! There you go. Out of airplay. Take down the Starmie, No big deal. I but I can't be affording to go one for one at the moment because she has the upper hand on me. I mean, I have rocks up, but that's not going to be that game changing. So in comes a part, and then comes my sizzle. And I just test the wall, see how much the next sizzle's gonna do, because I predict the stealth rock. And that does nothing, really. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to hit this perk with anything physical like that, because you saw how little I did. So, he switches out, because he can't really hit my um, sizzle. And his um, Moltres comes Her Moltres. Sorry, I've been saying his phrase. His Her Moltres comes in. Takes a shitload of rocks, and then a nothing from an next sizzle, really. So I go into my Gyarados, just because I'm pretty sure he can take anything a Moltres is going to throw at me. And I'm Scarfed, which she doesn't know yet, so I'm just going to take advantage of that. She goes for the Russo, if she needs to swap out, she can. But she thinks I'm, she's faster than me, so like I just go for the Waterfall and take her out. And that is good. That is a prime example of where um, Scarfed Gyarados just works. I get a crit, I'm fairly sure that didn't matter. Tell me if I'm wrong. Oh, also guys, new up and coming Pokemon channel. I'll put a link in the description. They're called the Singing Pokemon Players, and I expect you all to go sub them. It is deliciously funny and, in my opinion, the best idea in the world. So yeah, um, she goes for a Thunder Punch on my um, Scizor. Switch in, I think it was. Yeah, and then I'll just go for a sub here, probably. Yeah, I do. And I think I just go, since I'm faster, I just go for the X Scizor. Which is pretty good, it's going to 2 at KO I think, yep. Good times. And the Snorlax is carrying the Fire Punch, so good job I didn't go for the agility there, I just went for 2x scissors. 
So I'll just go for another one now and take it out. And this pie is special, guys. You've never seen a sizzle work so deliciously. Actually, you've probably seen it work a lot better, but not this set. I'm like, come on, just live. Just live. I'll go for the agility. Just live. You can do this, sizzle. 3 HP! Pattaya Berry Swarm! Oh, it feels good. I got the agility there, and I'm like, oh shit, I forgot about the bullet punch, and I'm shitting my pants. But she doesn't run the bullet punch, and that's gonna get okayed by an X sizzle. Look how manly that is. So, yeah, boy, uh, last poke to him, Perk. And that's gonna get okayed by an X sizzle as well. And if it didn't, I still have a mince in the wings with choice specs also. It didn't matter. But good game, Rose. We're one all now. We'll have to have one more battle to decide the actual winner. Good luck. Catch you guys on the yo yo. Who says yo yo? 